When working with objects, some of the really handy functions that are built into Autoplay Media Studio are the group, lock, and pin functions. So we'll take a look at that right now. Let's go ahead and add a button to our canvas by going to the gallery, clicking on one, holding down, and dragging it out here onto the canvas. And then we're going to go ahead and press Control D to duplicate that object. We'll press uh, four times for a total of five buttons. And then we're going to go ahead and pull them down like this. I'm not going to worry too much about aligning them too precisely for now since we're going to look at aligning in uh, one of the next coming lessons. But we'll just lay them out like that, just enough so we can treat them as a group. And we'll press Control A to select them all. Okay. And now we can group, lock, or pin these objects. Okay, so in this particular case, we're going to group them first and take a look at that uh, feature. As you notice, of course, like we we uh, touched on earlier that there's a dominant object and then there's other objects within the group. So we're going to go ahead and press Control G to group these. That's the first method we're going to look at. And you'll see that the bounding box is turned green. That means that these objects are grouped. If we press Control Shift G, so that's Control Shift G, you'll notice they turn back to blue and that's because they've been deselected and ungrouped. So you can group and ungroup objects. Basically, this is very handy. As you go out through your production process and build things, you'll find that certain things get treated as a group. For example, a set of buttons. And when you group them, you can move them around together and so forth. So we'll go ahead and try one more method of grouping them. And we'll go ahead and click on our canvas and drag a rectangle around all those buttons. And then we'll let go. That selects them all. And then we'll go to Object, Group and this is an additional way that you can do this without using a shortcut key. So we'll press the group button and you can see now that we can move these as a group. Anywhere we click within that group it it changes the dominant selection within the group however you can still click and drag the entire group and you can use your arrow keys and so forth to do whatever you have to do. So that's the group function and again here you can go to object ungroup if you like, or you can use the shortcut key of Control shift g if you ever want to ungroup your objects. So for example, let's say that we had a, a group of buttons and we wanted to get rid of one. Then we could actually go here to Object Ungroup and we could get rid of the button. It might even be the middle button. Who knows, right? And then we might redistribute these. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, move these up and then select them all and go to Object Group. So it's basically very handy to be able to group and ungroup objects. For example, as you move along, you might want to group your buttons to your logo. And then uh, basically as you get that laid out, group that to another button or an icon or something. So basically you'll find that one is a very, very handy feature. So let's take a look at locking and pinning. Basically, as you go through your project process and you, you, you start to get things laid out, you've got your background in place, your buttons and whatnot, you don't really want them to be selectable because it's just going to be a hassle as you're selecting other things on your pages. These things that are meant to be stationary are accidentally getting selected all the time. So there's a couple different ways to handle this. You can lock objects, and that's completely locking them. So, for example, I'm going to select my group here. I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to choose Lock and these things are locked. I can't even select them now. So when I click on them, you'll notice that there's no way to select them. They're completely locked to that canvas. I can't edit their actions. I can't do anything with them. So this is pretty handy for stuff once you have it finished and finalized and you know that that object doesn't need to be edited anymore, especially on very complex projects where you've got a whole bunch of stuff out there, right? You can just lock the things as you go through. But in this particular case, let's say we wanted to actually be able to edit these objects so we just wanted to lock the position of the object but we didn't want to lock the object from being edited we would go oh look, first of all let's go ahead here to the object unlock all and as you can see there's a shortcut key for that too of control shift l and we'll unlock our buttons first and we've got them in the group here still i'm going to move them out here in the center and we're going to right click and choose pin so this is basically exactly the same as lock, except the objects are still editable. So we'll go ahead and press pin. So you can see the bounding box is turned red, and we can select the objects, but we cannot move the objects. So this is a very, very handy uh, feature that's built in here, and I use it all the time. I'm going to go ahead and unpin them by right-clicking and choosing pin again. And again, there's a shortcut key there of control P, and I'm going to move these out. I'm going to ungroup them by pressing Control shift g and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of a few of them. 
like this. Just for the purposes of this, to clarify and make things a little clearer, we've got one object here, a button. And again, if I right click on it and select lock, I can't even uh, select that anymore. And if I unlock all, you'll see I can select it. Now, if I pin it by right clicking on and selecting pin or control P, I can actually double click on it, for example, and change the text. Or, for example, I could right click on it, choose properties, and add actions, or edit actions. So as you can see, the object itself is still editable. However, when I click on it, I can't move it. And it doesn't get accidentally dragged around. So basically, if I've laid this out and I know that it's in the right spot, I can go ahead and pin it, move forward with my project, not have to worry about accidentally moving it, and basically still be able to come back and edit it as I go forward. Once I've finalized it, I'll lock it. So that's group, lock, and pin. So let's go ahead and move forward to the next lesson.